Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump considering historic pardon after Sylvester Stallone made desperate phone call to him. President Donald Trump received a surprising phone call that caught him off guard. Trump was just doing his thing, minding his own business while making America great and his phone rang. That's odd, why is Sylvester Stallone calling? He's a Trump supporter, so it was probably a good phone call. However, Trump didn't expect the Rocky star to bring up the topic of a pardon. Trump had no idea Sly Stallone was going to ask for a pardon. The pardon isn't for Stallone though, it's for a superb athlete named Jack Johnson, who was boxing's first black heavyweight champion. Stallone talked to Trump about him and now Trump is considering a full pardon for the now-deceased Johnson. It's a posthumous pardon and maybe it should have been done many years ago, but at least someone is looking into it based on the circumstances of Johnson's life. Fox News reported, Johnson's, trials and tribulations were great, his life complex and controversial, Trump tweeted. Others have looked at this over the years, most thought it would be done, but yes, I am considering a full pardon. Johnson, born in Galveston, Texas, was the target of racial resentment, particularly after he defeated white boxer James Jeffries in the 1910 fight of the century, about that sparked race riots. Three years later he was convicted by an all-white jury of violating the Mann Act, which made it illegal to transport a woman across state lines for immoral purposes. In their efforts to prosecute Johnson, authorities first targeted Johnson's relationship with the woman in question, Lucille Cameron, who later became his wife, but she refused to cooperate. But they found another white witness, Bell Schreiber, to testify against him. Johnson fled the country after his conviction, but he agreed years later to return and serve a 10-month jail sentence. He died in 1946. Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona, has been calling for a pardon for Johnson since 2004, and criticized President Obama for leaving office in 2017 without having granted one. Former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, Democrat Nevada, had also called for a pardon. Johnson's imprisonment forced him into the shadows of bigotry and prejudice, and continues to stand as a shameful stain on our nation's history, McCain said in a statement in January 2017. Johnson's great-great-niece has also pressed Trump for a pardon. Posthumous pardons are rare, but not unprecedented. President Bill Clinton pardoned Henry O. Flipper, the first African-American officer to lead the Buffalo Soldiers of the 10th Cavalry Regiment during the Civil War, he was framed for embezzlement. Bush pardoned Charles Winders in 2008, an American volunteer in the Arab-Israeli War convicted of violating the U.S. Neutrality Acts in 1949. Racism was strong in the 1930s and 40s. Johnson defeated a white boxer and he became an instant target of racial hatred. His athletic prowess and boxing skills would be praised today, but back then it was a different time where people failed to treat each other as men and equals. Since there has been a witness found to stand on Johnson's side, it seems as though the pardon would be an easy task to do. A posthumous pardon would be great to clear his name and restore respect back to his family and his legacy as a boxer who made world history in a sport previously dominated by white men. Many critics find it bizarre that former President Barack Obama wouldn't pardon the legendary black heavyweight champion who made history in boxing. Multiple people have tried for years to get the injustice fixed and his name restored to glory, but people wouldn't take it on nor offer the pardon. It would have been a grand gesture for any of the former presidents of the United States to pardon someone who finally found justice in the form of new witnesses coming forward with the truth. If people said the truth back when Johnson was charged, then the person speaking the truth may have been murdered or lynched themselves. President Trump would set correct a long-standing injustice that has plagued Johnson's name and family ever since he was targeted for a crime he most likely did not commit. Do you want President Trump to pardon former champion boxer, Jack Johnson? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.